In this video, I will show you how to georeference maps or printed plans so that we can later on digitize from them individual features, for example, burials. And in our case, um, we have this plan of the Miko widget site. And you might see here the structure. We have a general overview plan. And if we go down below, we have the plans for the individual burials as subplans. This is a rather specific setting here. Usually you have only one plan and you can digitize this plan and there you can start or georeference this plan and from there you can start digitizing the individual features. It's not the case here, but this just means that we have to have an additional step to first georeference this overview plan and then see how we can fit in the individual plans here. Okay, let's start with this one. At first, what we need is the plan itself. So I save this image here at our working area here. And I make a new folder for the eight session. We have it already there. And I save it as Miskovice Overview. Dot png for example okay and now we need on one hand a tool set from which we can georeference the whole thing and on the other hand we need um, the back um, map with which we can georeference that let me show you this in a second at first we need to have um, the JS program running and we used here QGIS. So I start up QGIS and it starts on my second screen. So here it is. Some earlier projects I did, but we want to start a new project here by clicking here or on project new. Now we have a blank and empty space which is already have some coordinates here and some scale but we don't see any map here to add a map a background map from which we also will get the geographic information we have to add uh, a map we can either use already um, georeferenced maps as a background but today it might be very convenient to use an online map for that i have already some online maps available here which I use from time to time which is quite interesting for us now is the open street map thing here and all we need is a name and a specific URL and from this URL with uh, Z X and Y coordinates we can download tiles so um, parts of the map that are georeferenced and with that we can display that if we would not have already this here, I would have to go to XY tiles, make a new connection. I call that now open street map two. And here I can paste in or type in the URL and just click on OK. And now I have here my open street map two option. And if I double click it, we can see now the former white canvas has turned into blue. That means we are in the middle of the ocean. We can zoom out and then we see the whole world here. So we want to go to Prague Miskovice and I've already looked up the general location of the site there. So we are near Prague and Miskovice is here in the north of Prague and when we zoom in we find this area here and I can zoom in even a bit further and if we compare that to our uh, map we can see that it's actually this area where the excavation took place so more or less here so we can use this as a background to georeference the map that we have to do so we need the georeferencing tool in QGIS and we find that under raster and georeferencer. 
if we click there, um, we have to select, oh, here a new window pops up and here we have to select a file and the raster file that we would like to georeference. So I click on open raster and then I select the place where uh, the raster is saved. I went here to session 8 and there is the Miskovic overview PNG file and we will use that for georeferencing. Now, off screen, now it's on screen, um, I see which coordinate system should be used here, indicated by this EPSG numbers. And since my background map is on EPSG 3857, we also use here uh, 3857. And then we see here the VGS48 Pseudo Mercator Projecting Coordinate Reference System and we will use that. Okay, now what we have to do is to identify features in the map and connect them to features that we have here in our background map. So what might work is that we select the edges here of the individual buildings, for example, the river, and we have to click and connect different points here on the scanned raster with different points here on the map. This is done by, you can see my mouse arrow has turned into a crosshair here. So let's start with this building up here and just click on the left upper um, corner of this building and then I can enter geo coordinates, but I don't have them yet. So I can take them from the map canvas, from the canvas here on the back. So it is the upper left corner of the image uh, of the building here, far to the left. So I find this one here, click here and say, okay. And now we have a point here, dot here and a dot there. So these points are connected. And now I have to add more referencing points. And the more I have, the more accurate the um, georeferencing will be in the end. And it's also good to spread them over large parts of this uh, scanned map so that most of the parts are well um, uh, ref represented here. So next thing I take the right uh, down right most building here. So I take this one, take this from the map canvas. I have to zoom out and zoom in here a bit. So it's this building here. I take this corner here and click on OK. Now I can see that this is connected to this building. And I have to repeat that for several times. I just do it one time on camera and then I will do the rest off camera. So I take here this building here and the lowest point here. Take this from the map canvas, zoom out and add was this building. So I take the corner here and click on OK. And I realize now I did took the wrong building. So this building is actually should be that building. In that case, I have to remove this point here um, by selecting this one here and uh, no, let's, let's do it graphically. Click on this thing here, delete point and select that point there and now it's gone and now I can add another one so let's take this up here take it from map canvas and it's this building so I take this point and okay now we'll do the rest off camera now and now I have nine points with which I can start georeferencing first we have to set some um, additional uh, settings for the georeferencing. You can do that by clicking on this uh, item here and we have it first to select the target uh, 
system. So we use the same that we had before, 3857, pseudo Mercator VGS 84, 48. <laughs> and we can specify a name for the output raster. So this name here, to, usually it gives us the name of the original file plus modified.tiff. That's okay, we have to store that in a GeoTIFF format, so TIFF is mandatory, but the rest you can change that name if you like. Also we can add compression, that might reduce the uh, file size, so you could use the LZV compression, that is okay. Then we also have to select the transformation type, we will use the thin plate spline, this gives us the most fitting to the original points here. Okay, now we can also mark here load in QGIS when done, so that the map is automatically loaded if the transformation takes place, and we can click on OK. Then it takes a while, no, not now, because at first we have to press this button here to start georeferencing. Now it takes a small while, and then up here we can see our georeferenced file here. Um, it doesn't look too convincing. If I move this here, you can see that there is some distortion going on here because some of the points were not kept or done so well. Um, we could change that by, for example, taking here a polynomial transformation type and restart this process. This looks even worse, so we move this layer also. We could use also the helmet transformation. And there we can see some distortions going on here. And now if we compare that, now it fits quite okay. So all the objects are more or less where they should be, all the streets are more or less where they should be. Um, if we zoom in a bit here, so with this mark here I can add or remove this specific um, layer, but for our purposes this might be okay. Good, and with that we have this map georeferenced, I can close this here. And um, will be asked if I want to say georeferencing points. Yes, I will. Okay, I was usually this is enough and now we could start georeferencing, uh, digitizing the individual things here. But since here we have uh, only this overview map, we have still to fit in the smaller maps. For doing so, I have to save them um, out of the original file. I also do that off camera. And here we have the file for the A to D parts E and F. Now we can start georeferencing all these individual files into the uh, general overview file. Now this is a bit easier in a way because um, we have these rectangles here representing the original extent of the individual files so we can start georeferencing from them. Um, again we need to start the georeferencer and replace this raster we had before by for example this, this one here A to D. Again we have to select the coordinate system, that's fine. And now we can start georeferencing the corners here. So I click on this upper left corner, take that from map canvas and select this upper left corner. Okay, then this lower left corner down here, this one over here. here and that one on top here. And you can imagine because I georeferenced from an already georeferenced map the error that are in there um, add up. So this is not a perfect way to go 
Usually it would be much nicer if we have already georeferenced informations, for example geocoordinates, but if it's not the case, this is a way of getting uh, the georeferenced information as good as possible. Okay, I've done this here. Again, I have to set the, um, the transformation type. I stay with Helmert. Um, the rest is more or less the same. That's okay. And I start georeferencing. And I can look to my final image now and you can see now here that this one is fitted here into my box here so that's okay and for off camera I will do the same thing for F and E and there we are now we have all these individual sub information sub maps here georeferenced in here and we can see the individual graves here and we can start now digitizing their position and that is what we will do in the next video.